Want to learn how to edit animated Instagram stories like these? I'm going to show you how to take your IG stories to the next level by using templates in Final Cut Pro. Stick around till the end because I'm going to show you a bonus template. Are you ready? Let's begin. Today's video is sponsored by Digital Products 669. I'm going to show you how to use their The Ultimate Story Pack, which retails for $35 for a regular license. This pack includes 30 pre made scenes, 10 plus transitions, 30 titles, 20 swipe ups, 10 backgrounds, and 10 headers. See the description of this video for the download link. To install the Ultimate Story Pack, access the folder in your downloads. In this folder, you'll find the help documentation for further installation assistance and the download link for 43 fonts. Underneath that, you'll find a folder for the Ultimate Story Pack, which includes all the motion templates. Using Spotlight Search, type in Movies and open the folder Movies, Motion Templates, Titles. Click and drag to select all the folders except IG Transitions, then drag and drop them into the Titles folder. Now open the Transitions folder. Select the IG Transitions folder and drag and drop this into the Transitions folder. That's it! You're all set and ready to open up Final Cut Pro. To create a vertical video in Final Cut Pro, click on File, New, Project. Set the video format to Custom and change the resolution to 1080 by 1920. This is the resolution for IG Stories. Give your project a name and press OK. I already did this, so I'm going to press Cancel and open my project. You'll notice I have some clips pre-imported into my timeline. If you want to add new clips, go to File, Import, Media. Now, this first picture of lipsticks looks perfect in the frame, right? But look what happens when we drag and drop the image to our timeline. We end up with black lines on the top and bottom because the aspect ratio is smaller than what's needed for IG stories. How do we fix this? It's easy. In the video inspector, scroll down to spatial conform. Change the type from fit to fill. Boom. There's a little white space on the right, so I'm going to be extra picky and adjust the X axis to fully center the image. Much better. I'm going to delete this clip since I already have it open here, but hopefully you found that rescaling tip helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. I have this clip set to 7 seconds, but you can drag out the clip from the side to make it longer or shorter. For audience retention purposes, I'm keeping the clip shorter than the 15 second limit for IG stories. Does anyone actually watch IG stories without tapping through? Let me know. Let's spice up this story. Click on the titles and generators sidebar. Open titles and you'll see those templates we just installed. I'm going to start by adding a swipe up. Swipe up 01 is minimal and fits the vibe I'm going for, so let's use that one. By default, all the clips in this pack are set to 15 seconds, which is great because IG stories are 15 seconds long, but since I'm going for shorter clips, I just trim that down by dragging in the side to make it match the length of my clip. Now let's change the actual color of that swipe up because it's white to begin with, which is not going to show up against that white background, so I'm just color selecting that red from the center lipstick and putting that as my color. So now that really pops out and looks a lot better. The next thing we need to change is the placement. So I'm going to adjust the Y axis, bring it down a little bit until it's right underneath those bullet lipsticks. Now it's looking a little bit too tight, don't you think? Let's, let's give this a look, see what the whole animation looks like. Yeah, I don't like how it's hitting the top of that bullet or rather bottom of the bullet lipstick. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit more. Let's see. Mm, is that good? Yeah, I think that's a lot better. What do you think? Let's make this even more interesting and add a title. So from the IG title section, I'm going to drag in and drop title 10. And then same thing, just going to trim that down to match the length of my clip. And then we're going to select that title 10 to make sure that we can adjust the parameters. Click on the title inspector and from here you'll be able to access all of the adjustable parameters for this title. The first thing I'm going to do is scale that down because it is way too large and then I'm going to adjust the Y axis to bring it up so it's hovering above the lipsticks. Now let's change the colors up. So same thing as before, I'm just going to double click on that color and use the eyedropper tool to select the exact colors that I want and then drag in and drop that color to the parameters. I love how these templates make it so easy to fully customize 
everything to your own needs. So no matter what colors you want, what styles you want, what fonts you want, you can change all of that. And I'll get more into that in a bit, but let's just finish up changing these colors, okay? So I'm also gonna make that text underneath red and now everything looks so cohesive and nice, right? Let's change up the wording. For this, I'm kind of going for like, like an IG story ad vibe for National Lipstick Day, which was a while ago, but I think this picture is super fitting. So let's just pretend that we're making an ad for Lipstick Day. I'm gonna change up the wording. And as you can see, because obviously the text got longer, when the animation plays through, it gets a little bit larger. So what I have to do is scale it down in order to make the text fit within the confines of our frame. Now that looks a lot better. And then after bringing down the y-axis a little bit, rescaling it, resizing it, that looks really, really solid. But there is one more thing I want to do, and that is to change the font. So we're going to go up here and select the text inspector and change the font. I'm going to go with Unisans and then change it to heavy caps. And then for whatever reason, Final Cut Pro doesn't immediately show it, so I have to go to the next clip and then go back to that clip for it to show. But here's what it looks like, and it looks really good to me. And then the final thing I'm going to do is just rescale that swipe up arrow because it was a little bit too big. And now when we play it back, it looks so good. Super professional, am I right? Maybelline, if you're hiring, you know where to find me. Let's move on to the next IG story. For this one, I'm going to use a set of four pictures, each set to two seconds long. And this is going to all be for just one Instagram story. So when you click on the clip, you'll see each one is two seconds because I figured that's just long enough to capture your attention, especially for this quick series of pictures. Of course, if you wanted to, you can drag out the side of the clip to make it longer or shorter, but I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now, going over to our transition section, we're going to find our transitions in IG transitions, and I'm going to start applying some of them in between these clips to give them this really cool effect when going from one picture to another. So this first one is going to be the stretch transition, and it looks like this, very stretchy. For the next one, let's use Perspective 180. Here's what this one looks like. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> and then for this last one, let's use Zoom Out. And here's what this one looks like. Ta-da! It just instantly elevates your clips. Like, it looks so much cooler already. And then we're going to be adding Title 18. And I'm pressing B to bring up the blade tool so that I can make a cut right where that title meets the end of the clip and then just delete the remainder of it. This is an alternative to dragging the sides in or out to trim the clip. I'm deselecting animation out because I want you to fully see this animation all the way throughout the end of the story. I don't want it to fade out or anything like that. Then I'm changing the font to Unisans, of course, heavy caps, and then let's just change up this wording because I want this to be like another makeup advertisement sort of situation. Like, just imagine your favorite makeup brand or Ulta or something is having a sale, buy one, get one free on orders, $50 or more. What a deal, I wish, right? Uh, but a girl can dream. <laughs> anyway, now when we scrub through this, you can see that it looks really nice. It animates in and we have this really pretty text. But what I want to do is actually change up the colors and keyframe them so that the colors will change to match the color in each picture. To set a keyframe, press the diamond to the right of the color. Once it turns yellow, you'll know that your keyframe is set. I'm setting these keyframes at the center of each transition so that as it goes from picture to picture, it will also go from color to color. And I'm just doing the same thing for all these clips. If you want to learn more about keyframing, I do actually have an entire tutorial all about it. We go way more in depth. So I'll leave a little link so that you can check it out and also link it down in the description below. So now when we play it back, here's what it looks like. I love it. It looks so good. To take it up one more notch, I'm going to add a header. So I'm going to use header 05 because it has that same hexagon shape that matches the title that we inserted. So I'm going to use the blade tool again to make that slice right at the end of the story and delete the remainder. 
and now let's just change the color so i'm going to select the title and click the brown color just to bring it up so that i can drag and drop it into this color parameter for the header now we're going to have this brown shade and i'm actually not going to animate that i think it kind of looks nice and complements every picture so here's what it looks like i love it i think it looks really really good let's move on i'm going to close all these open things that are distracting like the color the transitions and i'm going to scale down my timeline so that we can have more room for this next series of clips which is going to be an igtv story <laughs> so we're going to go over to the pre-made scene and i'm going to select pre-made scene 06. so here's what it looks like it has this really cool animation going on it's a great way to basically like advertise an igtv on your stories and entice people to watch it let them know there's a new episode of something up you know so how do we get my picture onto here instead of this girl's really easy in the title inspector scroll down until you get the placeholder click the down arrow and then from your timeline select the clip that you want inserted and then press apply clip that's it from here you could delete that image from your timeline but i'm going to be using this for another story demo in a bit so i'm just going to leave it there now let's change the font and the wording let's pretend that this is going to be for an interview igtv for a makeup monday series for some makeup brand's instagram so we're going to say watch our interview with queen shireen and then down here we'll change it to say makeup monday that's the pretend name of this series and you could change the igtv logo if you wanted to but I really love the way it looks and I really love the colors as well, but of course you can change all of these parameters. Now there's one really cool parameter that I want to show you real quick and that is the spin rate. So you see these triangles that are moving around. Here's what it normally looks like unedited, but you could change how fast or slow they spin. So if I just sped one up and slow down the other one, here's what it will look like. I know it's a little bit crazy i think it's too much so i'm just gonna press command z and make it go back to normal i think honestly it's perfect the way it is this one's so easy to use and it looks so professional don't you love how the colors for this totally match the whole instagram branding like this is the instagram colors it's so perfect now let's add a part two to this story by using a background so i'm going to be using background zero one and this one kind of matches the aesthetic and the colorway of that first IGTV story. So from here, let's add a title. I'm going to be using title 07. This has this really cool slice effect. You'll see it in a sec. So I'm just going to trim that down and then I'm going to be adjusting the text. So let's change the font first. Of course, gotta do uni sans. <laughs> and then let's make this say follow. You'll see that follow is actually cut off. You can't really read it. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a second. So down here, I'm just going to write uh, Queen Shireen for more. I know you can't really see it right now, but if you slide over a little bit, you'll see that it animates and you can fully read everything. So let's go back to adjusting that follow so that you can actually read it. If you go to scale right underneath follow, you can scale it down and I'm going to put it to 68% and now you can fully read it. Now the purple, eh, not the best color choice for this. So I'm just going to make it white. And now let's look at it. So clean. Doesn't this remind you of like something you would see on a TV show or like Nickelodeon? I'm going to unselect the animation out because I want you to fully see the text until the end. And that's what it looks like. Okay, now real quick as a little bonus, I want to show you one of the pre-made scenes because these are so easy to use. You don't even have to think about adding in any of the titles or whatever like it's good to go all you have to do is simply edit it in this one section and that's it and honestly this one's too good not to share it just looks so good so i'm gonna go down to change the image of that girl to a picture of myself the same way that we changed it in that igtv story next i'm opening libraries so that i can access these other clips that i already have imported and then i'm going back to scene 14 and in the parameters, I'm going to be adjusting that profile picture and selecting mine, pressing apply clip, 
and then that way that profile picture will be mine and not somebody else's. So from here I'm gonna make some minor adjustments because the top is showing this little black bar so I'm gonna move it up a little bit and actually you know what that didn't work so let's just try scaling it up a little bit and we'll move it a little bit make some fine tune adjustments and once I'm happy with it I'm going to change everything else so queen train creative producer new video swipe up surprise surprise we are using a different font for this one I'm using Helvetica new I just think it matches the vibe of this better and then I'm gonna bring up that swipe up text by offsetting it by one pixel on the y-axis I just like it when it's not too spaced out so now when you look at it it looks like this it looks very clean and professional now there's one more thing I want to adjust and that is the colors so you'll see that that heart is animating these circles around it and then at the bottom we have that little bar so I'm gonna make those blue just to match the aesthetic of the picture better And then I'm just gonna make Queen Shireen lowercase. The capsule is just screaming in my face and that's not what I'm going for. Plus on Instagram, it's not in caps anyways. So that looks a lot better. Very clean, very simple. I love it. Now you know how to edit animated Instagram stories like these using templates in Final Cut Pro. Please like this video if you found it helpful and comment below what editing tutorial you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.